Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooklyn J. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Today, I asked my Instagram, like last week, I said, what type of content do you guys wanna see from me? What are you looking forward to? And everyone was like, day in the life, weekly vlog, all of that different stuff. Basically, they just y'all just want to see what I'm doing throughout the week. And today is actually Tuesday, and my sister and I just did a really big um, market haul to re up on everything, like everything. Um, it's going to be like a chill day. I am about to make myself just like a quick dinner. I think I'm just going to make myself like some tuna. I look a trip, but it is what it is. Keep rambling. Let's just hop right into the video. Part of my appearance. I put my bonnet on, put some chill clothes on, but I'm in the kitchen and I actually wanted to show you guys how I make my smoothies. So I love smoothies, but obviously I have noticed that I'm, I don't get as much as my fruits and vegetables, especially vegetables, like I should because sometimes, like when I'm cooking a meal, by the time I get to the vegetables, sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like cooking vegetables i'm just being real like sometimes i don't and then sometimes i feel like it's no vegetables to make so a lot of times for my vegetables i have broccoli or i'll have asparagus so i have like oops i have two things of broccoli in here and i have asparagus i don't even have asparagus right now because i made them but sometimes it's like, what other vegetables that actually are healthy for you can I make? So I want to show you guys this smoothie with a healthy, delicious smoothie. I made the recipe myself. So I made the recipe myself. So I'm going to show y'all. So here are our ingredients right here. Oh, I still have a strawberry in here. I didn't chop this one. So my fruits and vegetables are washed and diced. If you hear noise, it's just my dishwasher. But I don't do measurements because I eyeball stuff because I've been cooking for so long. So I have in here some kale and spinach. Both of them are clean on there. And then I have a handful of fresh um, diced strawberries. The fresh strawberries are gonna make a difference. The frozen ones, you're not gonna be able to taste it, but the fresh ones, you will. And then I just have here a little thing of strawberry yogurt. Now, I prefer actually to use vanilla yogurt, like a protein vanilla yogurt, but the store I went to didn't have it and I was not traveling all over Baltimore County and or Baltimore City, okay, to get yogurt. So this is just gonna have to do. And then I just have oat milk. You can also use regular milk or if you want to use water or if you want to use coconut water i have used coconut water but the reason that i actually like to use milk is because to me the consistency of the smoothies is much thicker much creamier it has a more smoothie texture as opposed to using water it's just it's very watery so if you don't mind that then by all means use water or coconut water, which I have used and it's still good, I just wanna say, but I just prefer it with the milk. And so you have to put your um, yogurt in there first. At least with this blend that I have, I know that it doesn't blend very well, so the yogurt has to go on the bottom and then I'll just put my strawberries in there. Hopefully I can pick them all up with this hand. And then I'll add in my greens. So again, this is spinach, fresh spinach and kale. Fresh kale. Just pop that in there. I'm gonna add in my milk. So this is vanilla oat milk, by the way. So again, I don't have measurements. So it looks like this. I'm gonna add about half in there until I see it come up to like, the strawberries and it looks like more milk than what it actually is it's not a lot but you just don't want to add too too much milk because you don't want it to have that watery consistency and then we'll blend and we'll have a delicious smoothie
Okay, so I do just wanna say, let me get in some light. Depending on how much greens you add, I added a lot of greens tonight because I need to get some more greens in my system, but that'll determine like the color. If you notice when I first started blending it, it was a really, really pretty pinkish strawberry color which sometimes they do turn out like that if I add more strawberries, but I was trying to preserve my strawberries. And then also I added more greens today. I had more greens than strawberries. So it looks like a green juice. I just call it my green juice, but honestly it does not taste it. Tastes like it. Mm. It doesn't taste like it at all. Mm. And then you gotta put the ice on it. You gotta have it on the rocks, baby. Cause baby, if you don't, I'm throwing that milk away too. If you don't, you gotta put it on the rocks. All right, y'all. So I just made myself a tuna sandwich and I have some chips. I didn't show myself making a tuna because I know a lot of people don't like mayo-y stuff, which I totally understand. I only like it on certain stuff too. So these are jalapeno chips. I wanna show y'all, these are so good. I love kettle chips, jalapeno, salt and vinegar. So these are really, really good and they're like $2. I'm about to eat really quickly and then just kind of relax a little bit. I might have some dessert, maybe. I did have that smoothie, so we'll see about that. So I will check back in once I am getting ready for bed. Crunchy, so good. And I got my pasta right here. As today is Friday and I'm about to head out. So last week, <laughs> I actually started vlogging and I never finished because girl, I be working. And it's like days that I work, a lot of people are asking me for weekly vlogs and stuff. But it's hard for me right now to do weekly vlogs because I work. And I have two jobs currently, so that makes it even harder. So I'm trying to get in the groove, trying to come up with like more of a schedule, but last week I did a lot of cooking and that's probably what it's gonna be for this vlog, like more cooking because I'm actually about to run out to the store right quick and do a little bit of grocery shopping for the week, um, for the upcoming week. And I'm gonna make some dinner tonight. So I'm about to take y'all with me. I'm gonna show y'all my outfit real quick. So this is what we got on. So this graphic from I can't even think, H&M. So if you guys remember in my Dallas vlog, I had on this shirt. So I'm wearing the same shirt. And then biker shorts from, biker shorts from Target, slouch socks right now. And I then have on my shades from Shein. So yeah, just a cute little OOTD. Let me see. I am about to take these clothes out real quick out of the dryer and then put my new clothes in there real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, 
just did that let me grab my water bottle and then let's head to the store let's go look at this person still going technically you were supposed to let pedestrians buy if you're driving i need you to listen to me you're supposed to let pedestrians buy first and then you can go I'm looking for like a basket like this for our living room, but I want it to be black. Cause I have not done any decorating in a while. So like not this thick, I don't want that type of consistency, but it doesn't even look like they have it. They don't have a large selection in here. Let's see. Do y'all see? It's really weak. Like, it's weak. So, like, something like this is nice. But I want it to be black. $24.99. This is why we like Marshalls. But this isn't... I want it to be black, though. Stop looking at stuff that's not what you want, girl. Let's try. This is kitchen stuff. So, not gonna be back here. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. When I say the texture or the consistency of it. I want, look at my shirt y'all. I want the consistency to like the texture to be like this. But I want it to be like a black one, a big one for my sheets. Not sheets, for my blankets like anything that we have on the sofa we can put in there pillows and stuff and the pillows that I have in my bedroom I have been thinking about moving them out to my living room because I never put them on my bed that's another story for another day but I just never do that so but this Marshalls does not have anything they do have candles Marshall's had nothing. <laughs> like, not a thing, sis. Not a thing. Like, that's so disappointing. <sighs> but anyway, at least I look cute, you know? Sometimes that's what it's about, looking cute. But anyway, for real, I am about to go inside the market. I made my list. Oh, so tonight, well, I'm going to tell y'all later. Let's just go ahead and go to We are home and back in the kitchen. So, ah! <laughs> sorry, let me stop, it's not funny. So, I have my chicken here. I'm about to make some homemade orange chicken. It's 345. I got my ingredients over here. I'm about to wash my chicken, cut my chicken, fry my chicken, do the sauce. Oh, I wanna show you guys this is the rice that I absolutely love. Not sponsored. However, if you want to sponsor me, this that drill. I love this creamy. It has to be the creamy chicken one, though. I mean, the other ones are cool, but this creamy chicken, baby, baby. It's just it, okay? The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. This is delicious, so you definitely have to try this. So I'm gonna do orange chicken, rice on the bottom, and then broccoli. So this is actually my first time making homemade orange chicken, but I saw like a relatively easy recipe it looked like online, making my own homemade sauce and stuff. So let's cut the camera, stop all that talking. Let's get to this orange chicken, period.
So this is what my sauce is looking like. I feel like the color is a little bit different on camera. And here are my little chicken bites. They're done and they're really, let me see. They're still light because I'm going to be putting it in the sauce soon. But I also overcrowded my pan too, so oh well. But why does it smell like Panda Express in here? Let me find out. The cool can't cook. I hope it's good though. I didn't, <laughs> didn't taste it. I didn't taste it like this. But look at that sauce thickening. Okay, okay. All right, so here's my bowl. I thought I made it more pretty than I did until I tried to take a picture. I was like, girl, it looks a hot mess. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a fork. And I'm going to taste the first bite on camera. Ready? <laughs> I'm so scared. God is grace. God is good. Last thing I'm for food. What was I saying? All right, so let's get a little bit of everything. First, let me move y'all back some. Let's get a little bite. I'm so scared. Do y'all see that steam? Look at that. Look at that. All right. It smells literally like Panda Express. It's actually scary. I don't like real hot food. Like to the place where I'm like, <sighs> no, it's, it's never that serious. Just wait a minute. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Fire. OMG, y'all, I gotta talk to y'all later.